Hey guys, welcome back to Baking with a Sprinkle of Love, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this really simple Spider-Man cake design. My son swears he's Spider-Man's biggest fan, so I just had to do this cake. So I already have my cake frosted and prepped, ready to be covered in fondant. While I roll out my fondant, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the fridge to chill, just to firm up that buttercream so it doesn't mess up when you're covering it. Okay, so when you're ready to roll out your fondant, make sure you have some baking grease ready on hand. This is just to help the fondant. Um, it can tend to get sticky from the warmth of your hands. So this will help the fondant um, stay pliable without it sticking to you. So go ahead and just massage that all around. And I have my rolling pin here. These things on the side here help to ensure that I roll my fondant out evenly. Okay, so now that I have my fondant all rolled out, I'm going to go ahead and roll it up onto my rolling pin, like so. I'm going to grab my cake, and I'm going to take this fondant and just roll it back out right onto the cake. So I'm going to take my smoother, smooth out the top first, make sure there's no air bubbles in here don't press hard don't press hard at all just to smooth it out and what you're going to do is you're going to pull and smooth all the way around pull and smooth pull and smooth going all the way around don't worry about what the bottom looks like because you're going to be cutting all of this off so you'll definitely need both hands you might need a helper that's okay if you do I still need a helper sometimes. <laughs> okay, now take your smoother, just go up and down, up and down, all the way around, just to make sure it's even. All the way around. I'm getting a little air bubble right here, push that out. Take the tip of your knife, poke the tiniest hole just to release that air. Push all the air towards that little hole to release it. You don't want any air bubbles because they will come back to haunt you later on. Okay, I have this pretty smooth. Take the same knife, just use the tip. You can even use a pizza cutter and just cut it all the way around like so. Remove all this extra. Save it for another cake, put it in a Ziploc bag. Make sure you're happy with it. Okay, now I have some black royal icing here and I'm gonna use this to make the webs. Can't leave out Spider-Man's webs, right? So what you're gonna do is go straight down the center, just eyeball it straight all the way down the center. Keep apply even pressure all the way through to prevent any air bubbles. You're gonna go across um, the other way. I wanna twist it like this just to make sure I go straight again. You're basically making a cross. Or an X if you wanna look at it like this. Do the same thing, make sure they're even. You can start at the center now, bring it out. Start at the center, bring it out. Just do the same thing all the way around. And bring it out. Now once you have all these lines, what you're gonna do is bring them straight down. So come here and bring it straight down. Do this all the way around the cake. Okay. 
okay what I want you to do is leave one open bring all of them down except for one okay now start at the top and what you're gonna do is just make a smiley face that's all you're gonna do make a smiley face right in between and just keep doing that all the way around Now, come to these bottom ones, right on the side of the cake. So once again, go all the way around, but leave this section open. Okay, set your cake to the side. And um, what I have here is a little DIY stencil. I printed out the spider logo, and then I took an X-Acto knife and just cut it out, so now I have this stencil. What I'm gonna do is just take this black fondant, Set the stencil right on top, you're going to cut out that spider. Okay, so once you cut that spider out, go ahead and stick it right on to the spot where we left it blank. I didn't push record, I'm so sorry guys. But you just cut it out and stick it right on. And right here, right where we left it blank, just make this smiley faces but just go half ways do the same thing for the other side there you have it guys a simple spider-man cake I think this design is fairly easy I think a beginner a beginner baker could definitely pull this off if you're not comfortable with working with fondant you can always just dye your frosting red and there you have it thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment below I always try my best to respond to everybody and I'd be happy to help you let me know what you'd like to see next maybe another superhero cake or maybe another ice cream cake leave it in the comments and i'll